Hi. Now in this question, we're given this diagram here and it shows the curve with equation x equals y plus 4 multiplied by the natural log of 2y plus 3. And the curve crosses the x-axis at a and the y-axis at b. And we've got to find an expression for dx by dy in terms of y. And in the second part, find the gradient of the curve at each of the points a and b, giving each answer correct to two decimal places. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. Do come back when ready and you can check your work solution with mine. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So for this first part here where we've got to find dx by dy, we should be able to go straight into this dx by dy. And what we've got to use is the product rule for differentiation. Normally we have y equals and two functions of x being multiplied together. It's kind of back to front here. But essentially our two functions, not of x but of y this time, that are being multiplied together are y plus 4 and the natural log of 2y plus 3. I'm assuming that you're familiar with the product rule for differentiation. You'll see it generally presented like this in textbooks and formula books. Normally it's y equals u times v, where u and v are functions of x, dy by dx equals u times dv dx plus v times du dx. So if we use this basically, what we've got is two functions of y though, as I say, this time. So all we need to do is just take one of them, let's say we take the y plus 4, let's just write that down, y plus 4, put it in brackets, and we multiply this now by the differential of the other function. Now to differentiate this other function requires the chain rule. I'll just quickly run through this, okay? With practice you should be able to differentiate that straight off, but uh, we'll just come down here, okay, so that we can put it in. We're going to try and differentiate then, with respect to y, the function, the natural log, of 2y plus 3. And to do this, this is equal to, by the chain rule, differentiating the function here. Okay, I'm going to call this natural log of t. Okay, so we're just going to differentiate the natural log of t, okay, with respect to t, and multiply this by dt by dy where t, okay, let's just put it in here, where t is equal to 2y plus 3. So what we've got then is the natural log here of 2y plus 3 in place of the t. And it's as if these two dt's cancel out, just giving us d of the function dy, just as we've got here. So I'll do it in blue here so we can tie it up with what we've got here. Differentiating the natural log of 2y plus 3 then means that we've got to do the differential of the natural log of t with respect to t, which is 1 over t. But instead of writing t, I'm going to write what t represented, which was 2y plus 3. So we've got 1 over 2y plus 3. Let's put that in brackets. And now we multiply this by dt dy t was equal to 2y plus 3, so if we differentiate this, we're just going to get 2. So we're multiplying this by 2. Okay? So that's the first part of the product rule. Now we go on to the next term, so plus, and we now take v, which is the natural log of 2y plus 3. I'll put this in brackets, the natural log of 2y plus 3. And we multiply this all by the differential of the first part here, y plus 4. And if you differentiate y plus 4 with respect to y, what you get is just simply 1. So that's essentially dx dy, but I think we ought to tidy it up. So uh, 
we'll just say that this equals now for this first term here we can write this as two lots of y plus 4 two lots of y plus 4 and that's all divided then by 2y plus 3 2y plus 3 and then plus and then we've got the next terms multiplied by 1 so we don't need the square brackets anymore we can just write that as the natural log of 2y plus 3 and there you go there's dx dy now in the next part part 2 we're asked to find the gradient of the curve at each of the points a and B, giving the each answer correct to two decimal places. So to get the gradient, what I'm going to need to work out is dy by dx. We've got dx dy, but that's going to be no problem. All we've got to do is invert our answer, okay, do the reciprocal of it at the end. We'll go about finding dx dy first of all. But we do need the coordinates, the x and y values, at the points a and b. Now, at a, we know that y is 0. So let's just put down here when y equals 0. Now, when y equals 0, if we substitute it into our equation here, we're going to have 4 in this bracket and then just simply 3 in this bracket. So we end up with x equaling 4 multiplied by the natural log of 3. So that's that point there, the x coordinate of a. Now for b, let's just do this one in red. For b, this is when x equals 0. So when x equals 0, what we're going to have is either this factor would equal 0 or the other factor would equal 0. So we've got that therefore y plus 4 would equal 0 or the other factor the natural log of 2y plus 3 would equal 0. Now if we take this equation we therefore have that y would equal minus 4. And if we take this equation, natural log of 2y plus 3 equaling 0, we would have that 2y plus 3 would equal 1, because the natural log of 1 always gives us 0. And from this equation, if we rearrange it, if we subtract 3 from both sides, we get 2y equals minus 2, leading to y equals minus 1. So the dilemma is, which one of these two y values do we take for b? Well, if we look closely, we can see that it can't be minus 4. And the reason for that is because if we were to substitute minus 4 into 2y plus 3, that would give us 2 times minus 4, which is minus 8, plus 3 is minus 5. And you can't take the natural log or any log of a negative number. So we can see that therefore y must equal minus 1 as y cannot equal minus 4 since this will give us 2y plus 3 being a negative number, less than 0. Okay, so y equals minus 1 is the point that we're really interested in at b. So, when it comes to working out our gradients, say at A first of all, let's take A as our first point. Let's come down here, okay? Bit of a squash, I'm sorry about that, but I do want to keep it on the one screen. So, what we've got here is at A, and we'll write the coordinates of A down. The x coordinate is 4 times the natural log of 3, and the y coordinate would be 0. So if we substitute these values into dx dy, we therefore have dx by dy, okay, equals, and putting y as 0 in here, we end up with 2 times 4, which is 8, over just simply 3. So we've got 8 thirds, 
and then plus and putting 0 for y into here just gives us plus the natural log of 3. And if you work this out on your calculator, what you get is 3.7652 and so on. Now to get dy by dx, we've just got to take the reciprocal of this. dy by dx, in other words, is 1 divided by 3.7652 and so on. And if you work that out, you end up with 0 0.2655 and so on. And we've got to give this to two decimal places. So giving this to two decimal places is going to be 0 0.2 7 to 2 dp. OK, well that's at A. Let's just now work out what that gradient will be at B. So if we just put down here at B, and what are the coordinates at B? Well, we know the x-coordinate is 0, and we've established that the y-coordinate is minus 1. So at B, 0 minus 1. All we've got to do is find out what dx dy is going to be first of all. So dx dy equals, we're putting y as minus 1 into here. So if y is minus 1, we've got minus 1 and 4 is 3. So we've got 2 times 3 on the top there, which is 6. And that's divided by, and if y is minus 1 here, we get minus 2 plus 3, which is simply 1. And then we've got plus and the natural log of 2 times minus 1, so that's minus 2, plus 3, that's 1. The natural log of 1. Natural log of 1, though, is 0. So we end up with dx dy equaling 6. So therefore, dy by dx is going to be equal to the reciprocal of this, so that's going to be 1 6. Or, if you write it as a decimal, that comes out at 0 0.1666. OK. And if we round this now to, say, two decimal places, this is equal to 0 0.17 to two decimal places, 2 dp. I prefer the answer 1 6, though, as it's the exact value as opposed to this approximate value. But that's up to you how you leave it. OK.